another day another <laughs> another video this time it is everything i bought in the sephora sale by the time you're seeing this the sephora sale ended yesterday but this is legitimately everything i bought if it wasn't for afterpay afterpay needs to sponsor me but this is let's first go with what i got in person today on the last day of the sephora sale I got the Belief Aqua Bomb Sunscreen. Really enjoy this. I plan on being outside this summer. So I needed to get some summer stuff. So got that. Then I got two of the Daily SPF Tint from Super Goop. I got it in the 46N and the 52N. Smelt this inside and I wanted a body lotion. So I got the Rare Beauty Fine Comfort Hydrating Body Lotion. It smells really good. I would have gotten the perfume too. But then I was like, where are you going this summer? Where are you going? Because if y'all don't know, I'm still in school. So where am I going? Next, the checkout line got me. They have both of the Dermalogica Microfolians. They have the regular daily microfoliant and then they have the daily milk foliant. So I wanted to do a um, comparison test for y'all. So I got that. And then I got one of the big size of First Aid Beauty Ingrowns. And then this one is 60 pads. And then this one is, there are 28 pads. Again, I told y'all I'm going to be outside this summer. So I picked this up for when i prepare my car coming a video coming soon um probably next month mm -hmm, when i'm done for the spring semester but i'm gonna put this in my car as part of like my essentials for the summer and then me and my girls were talking about going hiking every weekend so i got these for the hiking the super goop but then I also saw K, the Isle Lip Balms SPF 30. So this will be in my hiking bag because we're going to need sunscreen. And I don't ever own any sunscreen for my lips. Now this bag. Ooh, this, this thing. I ain't never purchased something so big a day in my life. I ain't never received this. This is everything I bought, which is a lot of stuff. What I got was the Sephora foundation brush. Then I got, I got this. This is a, this is spot in a internal personal massager. If you know, you know. Then I got the blush brush from Rare Beauty. Then I got the Hydro Visor refill from Fenty. And then I bought, I went to CVS or Walgreens last weekend and I bought some cotton pads. I have not enjoyed them. So I went and bought and I'm gonna try the Sephora cotton pads. I bought the Sunday to Sunday Edge Flourish. Other places call it hair flourish, whatever. Then I got another Fenty Travel perfume as I ran out of mine. I needed a vitamin C serum, so I got one. Then I saw the light diffusing highlighter from Fenty Beauty. I got the shade That's Rich. I'm hoping it works for me. I'll try it on another day. Next, I got a brow gel from Sephora. I got the, the pattern pre-poo and the scalp detox. Then everybody's talking about it. I got the topicals eye mask. Three more brushes. I got one for that our Sephora collection. I got their highlighter, their blush brush, and their contour brush. When I went in person today, I was gonna get the 
contour one, but couldn't find it. Next, I wanted to try the Kayali Vanilla 28. Because I had so many points, I picked up the Sephora Portable Blender. I had so many points I could redeem this. So I got it. Do I need a blender? Portable? No. But I got it. Next, the um, Biosance um, Omega Repair Cream and Eye Cream. Next, I got another First Aid Beauty Ingrown Hair Pad. Because my thinking is, it's on sale. And I go through two on a daily basis so I need so I go through a whole thing once a month next I got uh, the Sephora collection micellar water or the cleansing water because I need it for my makeup days next I'm trying out this brand Lumi um, I bought their everywhere wash and their intimate oil um, to prevent ingrown next Miss Nicole Concilio, like two years ago, talked about the Polish Choice cleansing balm, so I finally picked it up. And then I'm running out of my thigh deodorant, so I picked up, I picked up one. Um, and then oh, this is huge. I thought about the mini size hand sunscreen from Supergoo. This is a huge thing, but I'm leaving this in my car because, again, it's going to be summertime and I'm going to be outside. So I brought that. And then I bought another Deep Scalp Detox because I go through one a month. I'm hoping all of this stuff lasts me till the August, which I believe is the next Sephora sale. Otherwise, I'm going to be mad. But this summer, I'm on a no buy. And then I also got the Sephora Sun Safety Kit, which comes... Is $39 and the retail value is $178 and it comes with a lot of stuff it comes with I mean comes with <clears throat> the kills better screen UV sunscreen the Dermalogica sunscreen the summer Fridays mineral sunscreen the Peter Thomas moisturizer sunscreen the Endless Free Sunscreen, the Paula Choice Sunscreen, the K-Skin Lip Balm with a full size, so I guess I didn't have to buy it in person. Oh well. The Shiseido Sunscreen, St. James Sunscreen, the Fenty, which I love, Sunscreen, the Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen, which I also love, the Dr. Dennis Girls SPF, never tried that. It came with a color corrector for some reason. A tanning solution from Isle for medium, I guess, skin. And then the Inkyless Dewy Sunscreen. So we'll be trying this. So I will have enough sunscreen this summer. But that is everything that I bought in the Sephora sale. Um, but if there's any products I mentioned that you recommend me try first, let me know. Um, most of these were new purchases, like me trying things for the first time. Um, a couple were, uh, per items, repurchases, like the Fenty and the pattern stuff and the Sunday to Sunday and the First Aid Beauty ingrown hair pads and the Fenty travel perfume. But everything else was brand new. So let me know if you've tried any of these products. Let me know. Obviously, the Sephora sale is over. So let me know what I should start putting in my cart for the next Sephora sale. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.